Hello everyone. Mden mayor of pathway, citric acid cycle, lactic acid pathway, hexose monophosphate shunt. What are all these pathways? Let us understand about them by answering the following question which is given in drug inspector examination. Look at the question. Under aerobic condition, pyruvic acid is converted to carbon dioxide and water through which pathway? Options are given as Mden mayor of pathway, citric acid cycle, lactic acid pathway, hexose monophosphate shunt, HMP shunt. Now understand the question. Under aerobic condition, pyruvate is converted to. See, from glucose we get pyruvate in the pathway called as glycolysis. Glycolysis is also known as Mden mayor of pathway because these two researchers involved in discovering the pathway. Now, pyruvate is converted to carbon dioxide and water in aerobic condition. Now this is the process which gives us ATP energy and this process is known as citric acid cycle. Pyruvate get converted to acetyl coa acetyl coa gets into citric acid cycle and it is completely converted to carbon dioxide and water this is what is called as complete oxidation of glucose c6 h12o6 is converted to co2 this pathway is citric acid cycle so the answer for the question under aerobic condition pyruvate is converted to co2 h2o through the pathway is citric acid cycle what are the other things? Lactic acid pathway. Under anaerobic condition, when oxygen is not available, pyruvate is converted to lactate or lactic acid. That is called as lactic acid pathway. And what about HMP shunt, hexose monophosphate shunt, which is also known as pentose phosphate pathway. This is an alternate oxidation pathway for glucose. What happens is glucose is converted to ribose 5-phosphate and it also generates NADPH. Ribose 5-phosphate is required for RNA and DNA. And those pentose phosphates are formed in the pathway called as hexose monophosphate shunt. So this is about the options. Now understand each and every pathway clearly. Mden mayor of pathway is nothing but glycolysis in which glucose is converted to pyruvate. Glycolysis, glucose undergoes breakdown and gives pyruvate. This is again an anaerobic condition. It doesn't need any oxygen. Now citric acid cycle. Under aerobic con conditions, pyruvate converted to acetyl coa acetyl coa gets into citric acid cycle and completely converted to carbon dioxide and water complete oxidation of glucose in presence of oxygen aerobic condition this is known as citric acid pathway lactic acid pathway when after glycolysis when there is no oxygen pyruvate is converted to lactate or lactic acid lactic acid pathway now hmp shunt hexose monophosphate shunt or pentose phosphate pathways in another route alternate route for glucose oxidation glucose either gets converted to pyruvate or glucose is converted to pentose phosphates like ribose 5 phosphate and this pathway is known as hexose monophosphate shunt thank you